Lee, come forward. <laughs> 42 meetings to go. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, it's a great pleasure to be able to take this uh, collar off and to present it to you as our incoming president. I'm sure you're going to do a fantastic job. I'm not going to embarrass either you or me by trying to pin this president's pin on you, <laughs> but there's the president's pin as well. Right, and uh, just hold on a moment. Oh. This reminded me that of uh, getting married, really. I was terrified I was going to lose that damn badge. And I realised, of course, that it's not often in Rotary we get to celebrate a marriage, but on July 19th we do exactly that, so I think you should come up here, Norma. <laughs> and the club should say all the best and I hope you don't lose the ring <laughs> oh wait on here we are I forgot to give it to you after all that <laughs> no that's yours oh right <laughs> oh that's a good that's a You've psychologically got got no, no. significant <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like the possum being caught in the headlights. This was always going to happen, and on the other hand, how the hell did it all happen so fast? Anyway, I feel very honoured and excited about uh, taking over of president of this club. I think it's one of the strongest clubs in New Zealand, and part of my honour really is that a large part of that will be to do, do with the people who've stepped up to leadership positions. And certainly one thing that struck me over the whole of my year as president-elect, but in particular in the last few weeks, is a number of past presidents who've come up and A, said to me how much they'd enjoyed the role themselves, and I've been president of other things and that's never happened before, <laughs> and uh, secondly, offering their support to me, and I realise that has meant a great deal to me, but also I think that it probably lies at the heart of the strength of this club. I'm very lucky to be taking over a club that is in good heart. Every past president has contributed to that. And over the last year, of course, that has been Tony Hassett in particular. I've greatly admired his leadership and innovation, and in particular around his approaches to governance that we're already uh, reaping the benefits of. Our strength is also due to the people who take leadership roles as chairs of committees and your commitment and energy is what makes this club what it is. And I must say that Yusuf's input into strategy for the club seems to me to have provided a new energy for these quite onerous jobs that people uh, pick up, and I look forward to that continuing in the future. The induction of collective impact today marks a significant moment in our history, and there's a, a very zen statement that when the learner is ready, the teacher arrives. And I think for us in Rotary, at this, across New Zealand, that's certainly what's happening with this initiative. So we're really pleased to be able to offer you collective impact people whatever we can. And certainly I know that already we're learning what you are here to teach us. My goals are really connected with continuing the process of moving the club forward as other past presidents have done. And I want to do so in a way that combines the very strong traditions of the club with the process of continuous evolution so that we can keep really relevant to today's ever-changing world. Thank you for electing me president. If you think anything should be changed, make sure you let me know. Make sure that you bring any practical solution relating to that and be prepared to be a part of it. <laughs> now, I think I've done... Um, you've just got to put up with me following this sort of, like, rote learning for a bit. I think I've done President's comments. That's enough of them. You... Still, again, <laughs> certainly Mr. Pass, President. 
Thank you. I just uh, the three things I'd like to comment on because uh, I did the valedictory in the newsletter, so you don't need any more of that. But one, the first thing that really struck me, and, and you, we all get presented with this book when we get inducted. I don't imagine that too many, too many members have actually spent the time reading it, but I have to say over this year I've actually got right through the book. But there was one particular quote that I thought was so relevant and I wanted to uh, use it myself. It comes from 1957-58. The most pleasant experience of my year as president, and I'm sure this goes with all who occupy the position, was the latent capacity of members to help in any situation which might arise and the willingness with which this help was rendered when called for. A true Rotarian must accept responsibility in whatever committee work is assigned to him, it was him in those days, him and her, and showing an enduring interest by regular attendance at meetings and forums. He and she should enter into discussions and give their point of view just as Lee has uh, invited you to do so. So I thought that was a really important, um, uh, kind of summed up exactly how I felt about the year. Uh, so that was the first point I wanted to make. The second point I wanted to make is that I do hope that you have left some of that fruit crumble for me. Uh, for the last year, one thing I have missed is the fruit crumble at, uh, at dessert. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to being able to get back to that. And thirdly, um, I thought tonight I might sit down for the first time for quite a while with a glass of wine and watch some television, put my feet up and rest. But that will have only be a very short duration because just in case you are worried that I'm not going to have anything to do, as Lee has already mentioned, Norma and I are getting married on the 19th of July. So I think my life is going to be reasonably busy from there on in. So thank you very much for your support. I'm most grateful for all the help, advice, comments and support that you've given me. Lee, all the very best. Now, some members have opportunities for socialising and community involvement. Please come up and give your member notices. That will be the last time they'll be called member notices.